What do we got? Well, you brought it, but it looks like whiskey. Oh, wait, we, we got this together. It looks like whiskey. This was, this was a New Year's arrival. Yes, it was. Yes, from it was. one of our fine friends. 1792. The 1792. The 1792. Who makes this, by the way? This is the Barton 1792 Distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Okay, so this is a Bardstown whiskey? Bardstown whiskey. Okay. They uh, are a brand new distillery. They've been owned by Sazerac since 2009. They are the oldest continually active distillery in Bardstown, Kentucky. Really? Yeah. Interesting. This is their small batch line. It is at 93.7 proof, 46.85. And this was originally a small batch and an eight year, and they took away the age statement as most people have. And what they say instead is, named in honor of the year Kentucky joined the Union. Ah. 1792 is made from a marriage of a few select barrels carefully chosen by the master distiller. It's refined bourbon elevates Kentucky distilling to exceptional new heights. Celebrated by whiskey connoisseurs worldwide, the subtleties of 1792 make it incomparably brash and bold, yet smooth and balanced. Hmm. Okay. I love the color. It's a great color. I haven't had this in a long yeah, time. You know what the last time I had this? I think it was pre-blog. Pre-blog? Pre-blog. There was time before the blog. There was time before the blog. Yeah, we did a lot of drinking before the blog. It took us four years to decide on when we were going to start a blog. I thought there was only blog. I didn't realize there was time before the blog. There was time. Blog. That would be BB. Before, before blog. Before blog. Yeah, now we're AB. After blog. Or no, actually this is DB. During blog. During blog. During blog. So, During okay. Blog. Shall we? We shall. Sir. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, oh, a nice ring. That was an okay ring. Oh, we could do better. Fine. Fine then. Wow. It's got a... Bigger, bigger nose. We just had a little bourbon before yeah. that was a little bit, well, a little bit, uh, 40% to 46.85. Yeah, there's a difference. A bit of a jump. Very, like, very rich and caramely. Yeah. It smells, uh, like it's going to be a thicker. You think? A little thicker. Thicker? -er? Thicker. -er. Thickish. It smells good. I'm going in. I almost get like an apple pie note. Yeah, I can see it. Getting that. like a nice, like, rich. Like all your baking spices. Like a nice, dark, very cinnamony yeah. apple pie. French apple pie, how about that? French apple. Oh, oui. You want a little raisins? No, no raisins. Mm. Oh. Oh, chew your whiskey. That's got oh. some oomph. That does have some oomph. Oh. And that's like some dark sugars in that one. Tip of the tongue hot, too. That's like, I get some like, I'm getting like brown sugar. Yeah, like like yeah. caramelized yeah. brown sugar. Yeah. You know? Sugar in a pan with butter. Mm. Delicious. Boy, that's something. Okay, so we go back to the pie, right? Yeah. So you know, like when you put, you put the brown sugar uh -huh. on the pie and all that, yep. the, the stuff that bubbles up to the top uh -huh. that comes that cracks through the crust, that burns around mm -hmm. the edge, boom! I get all of that. They scoop that up and threw that in. Mm, now I need like a Boy, scoop of nice. ice cream. I bet this will go good on ice cream. I think that's right. not bad. Boy, that's pretty nice. good. Is, did they give a mash bill? It is uh, an undisclosed mash bill. It's marketed as high rye. It's believed to be fifteen to twenty-five percent rye. Hmm. So, it's coming in pretty hot. Pretty hot. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. I like that. It's, again, it's a little, a little bit like a burnt edge to it. You know, like caramelized or, you know, there's a little char. I get a little bit of char, but, but in a nice way. It doesn't taste like it's like burnt. It just tastes like it's got the caramelization thing going on. That's not bad. Yeah, it's, it's very pleasant. I give it like a, I give it like an 89. Yeah, I, I, I rate this pretty high too. I got like an 89. Yeah, I go maybe 80. even, I'm, yeah, might be like around there. Hmm. And you know, you, you take that first sip and it kind of tamps it down for you. Yeah. I'm not getting tamped down. Still a lot of spice to it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's all up front. Yeah, yeah it's nice. A, a lot of bit, it's up front. A little bit of a finish, not very long. There's like a little tiny touch of bitterness at the end. Yeah. Just a little bit, but not, not bad. I'm sure that's not just you. You're a tiny touch of bitterness. I don't right? need whiskey to be bitter. That's just my natural state. Bitter and angry. Angry and bitter. Angry. I am an Amara. <laughs> I am an Amara. I am a walking, breathing Amara. <laughs> I am Fernet. But, um, yeah, that's good. I like that. Thanks for sharing. Now, the price point's in that uh, 60, 65 range, somewhere around there. Mm, that's about I think right, that's right? about where you want to be for. That's about fair, I guess, fair. right? That seems pretty fair. I mean, you know, less is more, but, you know, th this is the going rate these days. Whiskey ain't cheap. Small batch with a higher ABV. Yeah. And mm. I like the bottle. Mm-hmm. 
It's a fancy bottle. That's pretty. They changed the labeling though. I don't. It, it didn't used to look this way. It was yeah, always they, the same shape. They changed uh, the label. They changed the lettering they, a little they, bit. They used to call it something else. No, I think it was 1792. Oh, well, I don't know about the small batch thing, but there was a 1792. No, it was 1792, and they used to call it uh, Ridgewood Reserve. Oh, I don't remember that. And they were uh, sued by Woodford Reserve. Oh. And they lost. Okay. So then it became Ridgemont Reserve. Okay. And then they did away with that completely and just called 1792 now. Okay. So the labels have gone through some gyrations. Right. Like iterations. Iterations. Sorry. Iterations? Iterations is probably like gyrations. Gyrations. The printers did the gyrations. It's movement. The label went yes. through some iterations. How about that? So they've come up with this now. And again, it used to be at eight years. So you probably an eight year old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they don't because okay. if we can get away with not putting age statements on. Sure. Why not? Not. And from what we've discovered, age really doesn't matter. No, it doesn't. It's, when it's ready, it's right. 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 No matter how old we get, we're still immature. So, so cheers to our good friend for bringing it over. You missed that one, didn't you? And You're just I, ignoring it. I let it go. Oh, okay. All right, Sarah, so cheers. Cheers.